I have my retainer in. I don't know if it's going to be hard to hear me, but that's why I'm wearing a mask today. Also, wear a mask when you go outside. It's actually a splint. Um, yeah. um, I did an ancestry test to determine my DNA. And for me, it's a huge deal because it confirms a lot of genetic markers. And if you have disabilities, then an ancestry test is actually really good for you if you can afford it. It's very difficult to afford, unfortunately. I believe every baby should just come with one, but whatever. The internet's not real for me. Again. Sorry. Okay. You'll see it. Um, I have screenshots on my phone. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Just radically accepting that I'm a freak. Um, okay, so I've got 40.9% Scandinavian, 30.6% English. 17.7% North and West European, 9% Iberian, and 1.8% Eastern European. I don't know what that means, um, but I know who not to procreate with now. Which was the goal? Because I'm never going to have a child, probably won't be my own child, and probably adopt. Hmm. Yeah, that was fun. This is a picture. Pretty much a Hecate. When I first read it, I thought it was Hecate. And I was like, oh, cool, I'm Hecate. <laughs> and then I, like, obviously watched as many things as I could because reading something for the first time is weird. And then um, realized that I hadn't read it for the first time. And Hecate was very familiar to me. And then I realized that she was in the Hercules TV series. So, super reminds me of Ursula in the weirdest ways. And also Hela in the best ways. So, praise Hecate. Cool. I mean, according to this, Iberian was before... Jesus. Grandma can eat my dick. Just kidding, I don't have a dick. Okay, overall, if I have a dick, that'd be fun. Oh, Grandma, I have a penis. What? They're, um, analyzing it further. To help provide me with health stats. So, they started analyzing on the second, and they said it would take three weeks for my health data, um, which is what I need to provide my doctors. I am meeting with a breast cancer surgeon tomorrow morning, 
in London and it's my first appointment. Went into the ER with a lot of pain and they gave me um, an ultrasound in my uterus and I had uh, my Mirena was dislodged. Mirena. Um, it was installed properly, improperly, I mean, and uh, it's causing a lot of pain, so I had bacterial vaginosis because of it. And um, the doctors did not want to take it out. I demanded it because I knew something was wrong. If you feel something is wrong, then force them to listen to you. <laughs> it's your body. If you need somebody to go with you, drag them. It's still your body. The doctor doesn't get to choose what you get to do with your body. Um, yeah, so they did an ultrasound and they found that it was not good. They took it out right away, no anesthesia. Felt great, like within 24 hours. Um, way better, so I could, could run around and actually do something and was like pretty serious because they'd only had it in for only four months and I got it inserted after an abortion. So during the procedure it was inserted. Um, so yeah, don't do that. And if you do, make sure you research your doctor right away and make sure it's not a crisis situation because you could end up with lifelong problems. Excuse me. I'm very pro-choice, but very pro-researching your doctor before you trust them as well. Um, and I also, had um like a lot of pain like in my chest too so they sent me for another ultrasound on my breast not that day but like a couple weeks later and so they did an ultrasound on my left side and they found two lumps in my armpit and two lumps in my breast as well as several lumps along my neck and underneath my skin on the other side um and they just kept saying that it's no big deal, don't worry about it, it's nothing. And like, I just kept telling them it's in my family, and they're like, yeah, but it's fine. Just like, no, this is a big problem. Like, now with my genetics, I can determine that there aren't very many people in our family. And um, it's a very small family over a very vast number of generations. And the odds of me having some sort of genetic anomaly is very high. And like I radically accepted that, but like every doctor I meet just thinks that's ridiculous, which I think is ridiculous, because um, that means that they're also a child of that, and that's something they can't handle. So Canadian doctors kind of suck when it comes to that, but other than that, they're okay at their jobs. Um, I have been told that I'm disgusting because I'm asking if I'm a child of incest, and. Um, like, why would I ever be asking that? Like, I must think that way. They're like, well, no, like, I'm just wondering because I have all of these disabilities. And so does every single person in my family. To the point where Game of Thrones makes sense. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm not going to have a child and continue the cycle of abuse when I know I can stop it on my own. Hi, my name's Madison Turner, and I promise to be a friend and always care. And that's the Sparks motto, I think. I promise to always share and be a friend. That's what it is. I promise to always share and be a friend. The Girl Guides one is, don't fuck with our siblings. And the Pathfinders one is, I'm doing this so that I can get a degree, because nobody else has any money. And the final level is, we finally made it out of the basement. Yay! That's it. 9% Iberian. Call me Hecate. Call me uh, Queen of the North. Call me whatever the hell you want. But I didn't sleep with any of my siblings or my cousins. And... Grandma Turner sure wanted me to, so there's that. The blood runs. Kanye 2020.